second year postdoc and I work at Val Connell Medical College, it was a little bit of a hard thing for me to say, in the Department of Pharmacology in the Levin Buck lab. And what are you doing there? So my PIs, it's interesting because I have two, which is quite unique, but they together characterize the solubilate adenylate cyclase. And recently we dug out the idea to use that enzyme as a contraceptive tool because it's pretty much the initial enzyme that is required for fertilization of the oocyte. And how, uh, how are you working with uh, that enzyme to actually make a contraceptive? So we actually have the unique situation that we already have an inhibitor for the enzyme that was discovered uh, a couple of years ago and now we are working together with a drug development institute that is actually located on our campus and we do medicinal chemistry with them and thereby use that inhibitor we already have and make it so far 5,000 fold better so that you can use that small inhibitor as a drug on the long run. And how is MCI's support helping you in this project? It is actually really difficult for a European that is not a minority to get funding in the US. So it's a, a unique opportunity for me to actually get um, money to start supporting my career on my own. And what do you want out of your career? Where do you want to go next? I want to become a group leader yeah. one day. Ideally, I want to go back to Europe, maybe Germany even, but you always have to go where the jobs are, right? So we'll mm -hmm. see how that goes, but that's mm -hmm. the plan overall. What do you think about trainee support more broadly in the field of male contraception? You know, how important is it that we um, promote the careers of young investigators? I guess you can't support it enough, I would say, because the more we show that we get funding on our own, on an early career stage, the better our chances are on the job market at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. You know, it's a... We always have to keep the pipeline of drugs moving and new things coming onto the market. We also have to keep the human pipeline moving and keep Ex young exactly. investigators. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's, it's especially at my stage of career that it's a bit of a transition point when people end their PhD, a lot of them still go in their postdoc, but then they actually stop seeing a future perspective in academia and, and a lot of people then at this point transition and move into industry or completely different field, which is really a waste because they are so well educated and well trained. So it would be nice actually for the whole society if they would keep um, staying in their jobs. And of course, if people see that there are funding opportunities out there, they're also not, I mean, it's always difficult and comp competitive to get, but if people see that it's not impossible and that they're actually perspective to support the career, it would definitely help, I think. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad that we could be able to support you and thanks for spending some time with us. Yeah, thanks for the support, definitely. Awesome.